Hi, I'm Ryan with PC Battle Stations. Here with episode three of our Battle Station Showcase series, where we display other people's battle stations so you can get some further ideas for your battle station endgame. Without further ado, let's get started. The first setup we're gonna drool over today is a setup from Extract. I'm loving this setup. Beautiful, as you can see, the monitors, three monitor setup, the left and the right, vertical, and the middle one is, I believe, is a 50 inch TV, um, and also the blueprints up top. Big Star Wars fan, that obviously stood out to me. Got the X-Wing, TIE Bomber, Millennium Falcon, AT-AT, holograms. Another thing also that stands out is the Herman Miller and body chair. That thing is supposed to be the Rolls Royce of chairs. Extremely expensive, so if anyone wants to donate it to me, go ahead, I won't turn it down. He is definitely an audiophile. Here you can see the Klipsch floor standing speakers. And as we'll get into later, you can see all the sweet headsets that he has too. Here's a good look at the three monitor setup he's got. Like I said, the middle one is the TV. It's the Samsung 50 inch 2160 4K. The left and the right are the BenQ XL 2730Z, which has 1440 resolution with 144 Hertz refresh rate and one millisecond response time. It's also got a Scuf Elite custom Xbox controller blue yeti mic looks like a, the blackout edition and in between his monitors there looks to be some jbl speakers here's a good look at the sweet keyboard he's using and it looks to be like a custom built mechanical keyboard along with a separate 10 key and the mouse looks to be a logitech g502 the case he's using is a beautiful lee and lee pc 011 rog edition love the lee and lee cases it's got a vertical GPU mount holding the ASUS 1080 Ti 11 gig turbo edition. The CPU is the Intel i7 7700K and for RAM he's got a Corsair Dominator Platinum 32 gigs. And here's where we get the audio files all excited. He's got the Odyssey LCD 2 and moving on down he's got the Sennheiser HD 800 next to the shit Modi 2 DAC with a Valhalla 2 amp on top of the shit Jodenheim with balanced DAC. And moving on down below that, the Odyssey LCD X next to the Focal Elear. And somewhere in there, he's also got the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. This wraps up the setup from X-Track. Great setup, excellent work. I would never want to leave that room, and I doubt you rarely do too. Moving on to a beautiful and simple setup from Sushi Destroyer. I like the single monitor, which is the Acer Predator XP271HUA, and I really like the Corsair 570X case. And inside, he's got an EVGA 1080Ti SC Black Edition GPU. CPU, he's got an Intel i7-8700K. Uh, for the RAM, he's got 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident ZRGB. And coolers, the NZXT Kraken X62. The motherboard, he's rocking the ROG Strix Z370E and the PSU he's got the Corsair RM750i. Here's a good look at the Steel Series Arctis Pro Wireless. Curious to see how good this wireless headset does. Uh, claims you know it does a lossless audio for gaming, Bluetooth connectivity from old devices. Um, it's supposed to have a clear cast microphone which uh, delivers studio quality voice clarity, background noise cancellation. Wonder if it does really well. Those of you uh, who are familiar with it, let me know in the comments because I'm kind of curious to see if the microphone actually is all that's hyped up to be. Here we get a good look at his keyboard, which is the Corsair K95 Brown, and the mouse, which is a Razer Death Adder Elite. So let's wrap up Sushi Destroyer's setup. So keep up the good work and keep destroying the sushi. I don't even really know what that means. Here's a great setup from Godsmoth. I like his setup. I only have one picture from him, but uh, I just wanted to showcase it anyways because it looks pretty cool. I like the posters on the wall. The two behind the monitors are uh, Miyazaki posters. And also the other one on the right hand side is the Wanted Dead or Alive Nami poster, which is pretty cool. I like the four monitor layout he has too. The main one is the BenQ XL 2411Z, 24 inch. All these are 24 inch. Top one's an Asus 144 hertz and the sides are the AOC 60 Hertz. For the PC, he's rocking an i7 6700K CPU, uh, MSI Z170 M5 motherboard, MSI 1070X GPU, and for storage, he's got a one terabyte SSD along with uh, another 250 gig SSD, and also a one terabyte hard drive. 
And that white keyboard right there is the Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro 2. I like those. And then the mouse is the white Final Mouse Ultralight. And then headphones. Looks like he's got a Sennheiser 598. The wallpaper is called the Purple Cat for anyone curious about what kind of wallpaper he has. Uh, I guess you can search for the Purple Cat. And then the desk, he has the IKEA Ekbeken desk. So great setup, Godsmoff. The next one is from Ninja Text, which is a great setup. It's real original because he's got the Soji screens in the back. Yeah, you don't see that too often. It looks real good. Put the lights on the top and bottom, I believe. Uh, makes it glow. Kind of a nice little relaxing setup to kind of go home to after a nice hard day work or school, whatever, and just kind of relax and turn those lights on. Get some nice ambience in the room there. There's a nice straight on shot. Looking at his monitor there, which is the Samsung. U32J590, 32-inch 4K. There's a more zoomed out shot of his themes. Definitely got a good theme going on. Those shoji screens. Also that large Chinese fan. Typically they're just supposed to be like hand fans. I don't think that one's gonna fit in my hands. Maybe from the Game of Thrones, the mountain's hands. In addition to gaming on the PC, it looks like you can also choose to game on that Xbox One console back there. Nice to have some different options. He's got everything sitting on a 55 inch desk or for my international friends, about 140 centimeters. I'm loving his case, which is the Corsair Crystal 570X RGB mid tower case. I like that one. Inside that case, he has an Asus ROG Maximus X Hero motherboard. CPU, he has the Intel Core i7 8700K. CPU coolers, the Corsair Hydro Series H150i Pro RGB. For RAM, he has 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB. GPU, he's sporting an MSI Gaming GeForce RTX 1080, 8 gig. Power supply, he has a Corsair HXi Series HX1000i. And then for storage, he has a Samsung 960 Evo Series, which is a one terabyte PCIe NVMe. And then a hard drive, he has a Seagate Barracuda, two terabyte. Here's a good look at his keyboard, which is the Corsair K95 RGB Platinum. For his mouse, he has the Corsair M65 Pro RGB. Well, that'll wrap up Ninja Tech's suite setup. Keep up the good work, I love your theme. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a setup from FedEx96. Like his setup, he calls this one the ROG Madness, and you can probably see why. Just take a look around. He's got that Asus ROG Scabbard mouse pad along with the ROG keyboard, mouse, headphone stand, monitors, the ASUS ROG Swift PG27BQ. The chair he has is the AK Racing Nitro Gaming Carbon Black. The case he has is the Fantex Entho Evolve X in gray, along with the RGB fan frames, which is the Fantex Halo Slux Digital Aluminum Black, and then the Fantex Digital RGB Hub. Speakers, he's rocking the Logitech G560. Webcam he has is the Logitech Brio 4K. Taking a look inside that sweet case, he has the Intel Core i9 9900K, Asus ROG Ryogen 360 AIO CPU cooler. He's got 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM. And uh, storage, he has the Samsung 970 Evo 2 terabyte. Western Digital Black 4 terabyte. GPU is an ASUS ROG Strix RTX 2080 Ti overclocked. And ASUS ROG Maximus XI Code motherboard. Power supply is the EVGA Supernova T2 1000. He also added on some EVGA black power supply cables. Continuing on with his ROGB Madness keyboard is the ASUS ROG Strix Flare Cherry MX Red. Headset is the Asus ROG Delta. And his ROG Madness ends at the Pugio mouse. Great setup, FedEx96. Let me know if you ever get that ROG tattoo. Maybe we'll show it on the show next time. Hopefully, you guys like those setups as much as I did. I'm going to have all the specs and everything from the episode down in the comments below. And if you want to leave a comment, I always love hearing you guys' feedback. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our website at PCBattlestations.com and we'll check you guys on the next episode.